Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit. Welcome to another Overwatch Stage 1 video. This time we're going to be looking at D.Va, definitely one of my favourite characters introduced to Overwatch so far. D.Va, I would say, successfully knocked Widowmaker off the podium as the sexiest character in Overwatch. Rip Widowmaker, we have a new sexy character. This is D.Va. She is a former professional StarCraft 2 gamer. Now that's cool. That's lore for you. That's lore for you in a Blizzard game, in a Blizzard universe. Then, apparently some Omnics. Omnics are the big bad robot guys in Overwatch. Omnics were attacking South Korea, giant Omnics, so the humans built these mech suits. And they needed people to pilot these mech suits, so they got pro gamers to pilot these mech suits to go fight these other big robot things. So, that's how we have D.Va here as a pro gamer in a mech part of the South Korean mobile exoforce, so she's pretty fucking badass, let's just say that. D.Va definitely can be compared to Titanfall's playstyle in that you have a mech, but one thing Titanfall didn't have is a flying titan, so woohoo, we finally get to play a flying titan <laughs> in Overwatch, not Titanfall unfortunately. She has two lives because of this, so when her mech suit gets destroyed she jumps out of it and has her own little pilot form where she can r run around just pistoling people and then after a short period of time and when she's charged up again her mech suit can be called back in just like Titanfall pretty much so definitely we can see here that Blizzard took a lot of their inspiration for D.Va from Titanfall which is fine I love Titanfall so <laughs> it's awesome getting to play a Titanfall character in Overwatch I think that's really cool there is quite a lot of stuff to D.Va's kit her primary mech fire is coming from her fusion cannons these are able to fire continuously there's no reloading on them pretty much one of the only characters in Overwatch who doesn't have to reload ever the problem with these cannons is that they are very low damage very high spread I found that the best use for them is just getting in the face of enemy tanks and taking them out because a lot of the bullets then with the high spread are actually going to be hitting the bigger targets. If you're trying to say shoot a tracer with these cannons, even if you are pinpoint accurate with your aim, a lot of your shots are just going to miss anyway just because the spread is so large. I mean she can 1v1 assault characters like tracer, she just has to get really close. The closer you are obviously the, the more chance you have of more of your bullets hitting them. So that's one use of her booster kit. So what her booster does is it enables her to fly in her mech suit for a short period of time. If I see one enemy out of position, say, and they're alone, and I'm D.Va, then I'm pretty much going to go for that 1v1 fight because I've got lots of safety nets on D.Va as well. I'm a tank with a large health pool, with a large armor pool, and another ability, Defense Matrix, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But if I see an out of position character, I fly towards him, try and get a little bit of damage from the headbutt mechanic that the booster thing has. So if you fly into a target while you're boosting, you will do a slight bit of damage and then you want to try and kill them with your fusion cannons at close range. Close range fusion cannons is the best. The other use for fusion cannons is just laying down that continuous fire and harassing like it's it's doing no damage at long range pretty much but it is coming up on the enemy screens that you're being shot so they're looking around for you. I would say it's a sort of harass mechanic. Diva is a sort of harassing tank. She's a harassing, distracting and defensive tank. If you can make D.Va the focus of the enemy team just by like shooting them and they're like oh there's a D.Va up there better look at her for a minute or or you can just sort of fly into an, a group of enemies and make them say oh my god D.Va's in my face right now. What you are doing is allowing the assaults on your team to get some work done. As a tank it's not your job to do the killing. That's not your job at all. It should be your teammates who are doing the killing and your job as a tank is just to soak damage but as D.Va soaking damage isn't her strongest point because she has no self healing, she has no shields. What she has to do if she is tanking a lot of damage is fly around maps picking up health packs a lot of time or hopefully have a decent medic on your team and rely on them a lot to heal you up constantly. So I found her more or less not as good as other tanks in the game in the tanking sense. What I love with D.Va is having a Winston or a Reinhardt on the team so that we do still have that tanking potential and then D.Va can bring her own side to the tank class to the game which is distraction, harassing and minimizing big bursts and big pushes from the enemy team because of her defense matrix ability. So her defense matrix ability, let's talk about that so I can get that introduced to you guys. Her defense matrix is her E ability. She presses this button and any gunfire that's coming towards her gets neutralized. She shoots any bullets out of the sky, any projectiles out of the sky pretty much. It cancels a lot of ultimates in the game. It cancels say Soldier 76's ultimate. It cancels Reaper's ultimate. It cancels Farah's ultimate. Shoots all those little rockets out of the sky. That sort of utility on D.Va is awesome for the game. I found D.Va to be 
most effective on defense, not really effective at all on offense. Most effective on defense, especially in corridor shooter type maps, especially on capture point maps where there is one choke point, where anytime there's a push coming through from the enemy team, she can press one button, prevent any fire coming through that doorway and have her assaults behind her, dealing the damage and taking out these characters, which aren't actually able to fight back right now pretty much. So. That makes D.Va awesome in my opinion, but I have problems with D.Va. <laughs> she, she still, with, with all this sort of stuff that I've talked about so far, she still doesn't seem to be essential on the team. She doesn't seem to bring enough to the team. She seems to be lacking in just something. Before I get into what's missing from D.Va, I want to just talk about her ultimate ability. Her ultimate ability is self-destruct, exactly copy pasta from Titanfall's nuclear eject. You can eject from your Titan or your mech suit here and in Overwatch and it lets out a uh, sort of a nuclear explosion. It's not called a nuclear explosion in Overwatch, it's just a self-destruct explosion. And what it does is after about five seconds, it blows up and destroys anyone in close proximity to it. Although it's not that strong at all, it's very easily countered. Simply ducking behind any small amount of cover will protect you from this explosion. So what it is, again, going back to Divas, what I've said earlier for Diva is it's a distraction. It's not meant to get you kills, what it's meant to do is it's area denial, it denies an enemy team moving onto a control point for a short duration, it, it denies the enemy team moving onto the payload for a short duration, and what it forces enemies to do who are in the area of the explosion is it forces them to back up, and while they are backing up, it allows your team to shoot them and hopefully kill them, so it's not a killing ability, her ultimate, it is a sort of a support ability, I would say, to, to help your team out, to let them do some work off of your ability. You can use this nuke onto a capture point that you're attacking and the enemy team can't really do anything about staying on that point to, to cancel your capture so your teammates can jump on with your nuke and there's no friendly fire so the nuke doesn't kill your teammates. She can jump on the point with her nuke and have her team jump on and capture it while the enemy's all running away from this nuclear explosion so that's the utility of her ultimate ability. Now I'm not too sure if I've made D.Va sound like she is super loaded in this video. But as I said, I think she is missing something. I feel like the lack of self regening shields or some sort of shield like most other tanks have in the game is really hurting D.Va a lot in her tank role. A simple fix for D.Va I think would be to give her a regening shield, give her an extra 200 blue health shield so that she doesn't have to constantly be running for health packs if you're playing solo queue without that reliability from a medic. The other thing I was thinking is maybe just give her a right click ability, give her something that she can charge up her guns to fire a little explosion, a little mini explosion, which does do a bit more damage but is more of a skill shot than just spray constantly, continuous fire sort of thing. I feel like every character in the game should have a right click ability. Characters who have right click abilities feel really good and then all those other characters which when you press right click does nothing, they all feel like they're missing that extra ability which could be there on right click and D.Va is definitely no exception to that. I feel like just give her a little like, charge up explosion on her right click which brings some more usefulness to her damage output. And then other things as well is just maybe you could increase her basic damage or reduce the spread a little bit just to help her out a little bit because she is incredibly slow when she's shooting and it does no damage at all in long range. Nothing. It'd be nice just to give her something to help out the team. She's not that hard to kill. She's not hard to kill. So give her a bit of damage maybe. <laughs> a little bit of damage I think. I would like to play D.Va a lot simply because she reminds me of Titanfall and why would I not want to play a Titanfall character in Overwatch? It's just sometimes when I pick her I feel like I'm being that asshole on the team that's picking crappy characters that's not going to help them win the game. <laughs> so I don't want to feel like that guy when I pick D.Va. I hope she does get buffed a little bit. I hope she gets something else just to make her feel really, really good. Let me know your guys' thoughts on D.Va in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It was some pretty nice gameplay in the background there. Thanks very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.